everyone, this is me, you, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week, I drew famous characters' head swaps. Thank you for supporting by liking and sharing my video. I'm glad you had fun with this challenge. Today, I'm going to draw some Disney princesses as modern young ladies. Some of you have been suggesting this, and I wonder how they're going to dress like today. I think this is going to be a fun challenge. And I wonder how they'll turn out. Comment below to let me know who's your favorite. I challenged myself to draw some Disney princesses as modern girls and show their different personalities through their outfits and expressions. This took many, many hours for me to draw these princesses in today's video. I couldn't draw all of them in one video because it would have taken me too long. If you want to see more princesses, please like this video and let me know. I might do other ones in the future. I'm starting with Ariel as how I imagine her if she was from today's time period. When I designed my modern Ariel, I took her personality into consideration. Just like in the movie, she's brave, curious, and loves to explore. I thought a cute corset top with shell designs on the bust would be a nice fit. I also gave her mermaid tail tattoos on her arm. I think skinny jeans would be a nice addition to her outfit. I had to include the fork. I think it's a nice tie to the movie and it's a great symbol. I'm trying to use similar colors for her outfit to connect with the original. I really like Ariel because she knows what she wants and goes for it. And also she doesn't listen to her dad. <laughs> Ariel looks pretty cool as a modern teen. Here I'm turning a brave young woman into a stylish modern lady. I thought to turn Mulan into a tomboy because I felt this reflected the story pretty well. However, there are so many different types of tomboys and I did lots of initial sketches to see which direction I wanted to go. After some initial sketches, I decided to draw modern Mulan as a stylish young lady like this. I love Mulan because she knows how to kick some serious butt. Also, she has a dragon. I love dragons. I designed her with a trendy overcoat and then layered her shirts underneath. For her pants, I drew them slim and straight. And I love her cute ankle boots. I wanted something different, so I gave her a stylish hat. I 
was wondering which hairstyle, outfit, and color scheme I should go with because she has a few different ones from the movie. In the end, I went with this hairstyle and outfit's colors because I think it's a nice symbol for what she achieved in the end. She looks like a classy lady in a big city. Now I'm drawing bubbly Rapunzel as how she might look like today. I love Rapunzel because she's very artistic and creative, and also she is very good at using frying pans for other means. Here I'm imagining her in art class just drawing away. Her hair could be dangerous. I had lots of fun drawing it. Guess who she was drawing on her sketchbook? Uh, I love the new modification. I decided to give modern Rapunzel a cute schoolgirl look with a collared shirt, vest on top, and a skirt. I used my different purple and pink markers to get a look that's similar to her original colors. I also gave her that flower in her hair. I think it's a pretty touch. I would love to be with her in art class. Here's someone who's not afraid to challenge the norm. This is how I imagine Merida in modern times. I gave my Merida this expression to reflect her personality.
After some initial sketches, I came up with a short open blazer, layered shirts, and shorts leading into ripped tights. I think she looks bold. I gave her a wide belt with a simplified Celtic design on it. I also gave her plaid to subtly connect with her background more. This is not the first time for me to draw Merida. I also drew her at Disney World, and you can see me draw and meet her, Ariel, and other Disney characters on the spot in my second Travel with the Artist video. I try to get various shades of dark teal for her outfit, mixed with other colors for a variety. I like Merida for her individuality, and also for her skills at archery. I love archery, but I'm only good at hitting the ground. Now I'm reimagining Pocahontas in modern times. I kept Pocahontas's necklace and made her top into like a stylish, one-shoulder crop top. The neckline reminds me of her dress. I love her because she can look beyond boundaries, and she has a free spirit. I really like how her hair was designed in the movie, like how it flows and everything. I just think it's so beautiful. I try to draw her hair in a similar way. God, sorry, I love Miko. He's like one of my favorite Disney animals. Oh, he's so cute! I am fangirling now. It was fun coloring Pocahontas' hair with the black and then the blue lines inside, like how she had her hair in the movie. I love how she looks as a modern young lady. Oh, 
Alright, here comes a queen. I wanted to include her in this video. I had a lot of fun imagining how Elsa would look like as a modern woman. I like Elsa because I feel connected to her. She has this special skill but is misunderstood sometimes. I gave Elsa a cute open shoulder top to reflect her gown's opening, then I designed her in a fun mini skirt. I like how I gave her a purse and a phone, it's like she's a busy professional on the way to her office or on a date. I feel she could be one of the top managers at a company. I'm curious, what kind of company do you think she should work at? In my 1 million subscriber special video, some of you suggested that we should have a name for our Fun and Draw community, and I think that's a brilliant idea. I think it's wonderful you Fun and Draw fans want a name to call ourselves, and I like to reach out to you guys, so if you have any name ideas, please share them in the 1 million subscriber special video in the comments, and only on that video so we can keep all the name suggestions in one place. And like the ones you like, and let's see where we can go from there. And thanks for your help. For her outfit colors, I used light and darker blues to connect with her original dress. I thought it would be fun to match her top with her shoes, and then her purse with her phone. Which modern princess reflects your personality or personal style the most? If you like, please share in the comments. I love how they're all so different and individual. If you want to see more modern Disney princesses, like this video and let me know in the comments. If more people want to see more, then I might continue the series in the future. And thank you for supporting Art and My Fun to Draw channel with your likes, subscribes, and by sharing my videos with your friends and on social media. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. Till next time. Bye guys!